Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and welcome to exporting a flat pattern in Autodesk Inventor. We're going to take the sheet metal duct shown here and export the flat pattern for CNC operations such as a laser mill, punch press, or water jet. So here we have our completed part, and it's ready to be exported so it can be made. So the first thing I'm going to do is double click on my flat pattern to access my flat pattern. Now in order to export it, I can do that directly from here by right clicking and choosing save copy as and that's going to export my flat pattern. I'll go ahead and choose a directory and give it a name. But once I hit save, we'll see some options and we can choose what version of AutoCAD we're going to save out as. So let's say a 2004 DXF. What layers I'm going to export. So I'm going to turn off the bend layers because it may confuse the CNC machine, for example. And then I'll make some adjustments to my geometry. I'm going to replace splines. Splines can sometimes cause problems with CNC machines, so I'm going to turn them into short line segments. I'll merge my polylines, as well as rebase my geometry to the first quadrant, so it's all positive. Once that's done, I can save out the configuration in an INI file, so I can recover these settings for later and not have to rebuild them every time, and run the risk of me missing one and causing a problem. So the configuration is saved now. I can go ahead and save out that file. And now we can go ahead and switch to AutoCAD and we'll open up the DXF and see what it looks like. So now with the DXF file open, you can see that I've eliminated the bend lines. Those don't come in. And then if I do a quick ID check and check a couple of points, we can see down in the command line over here that they are positive, so it has been rebased to be positive. But just as quickly as that, I've exported a flat pattern from Inventor, and I'm ready to send that out to a CNC machine. That's it for this video. Thanks for taking the time to watch.